What's up everyone, Super Nerd Daniel coming at you with more of the Pokemon Violet Indigo Discs DLC. In the last episode, we defeated Lacey of the BB League Elite Four and caught a couple new Pokemon. And we're going to go ahead and do more of the latter in this episode because we're going to head to the Polar Biome. But of course, before we do that, we have to expand the biodiversity, which I just happen to have enough BP to do. Thanks to a little bit of off-screen grinding I did between episode uploads. So with 3,000 BP to Terry... Now I can go ahead and get more species of Pokemon to appear, including Piplup, apparently. Sick. Maybe we'll run into one during this episode. Who knows? And here we are in the polar biome, and that's not a starter I expected to find here, but I'll take it, sure. And I forgot I already had a Chimchar from... Transferring it over. Whoops. My bad. Uh, actually, do I have a Duraludon yet? I don't remember if I have a Duraludon. Let me go get that instead. Cheeky turn one timer ball. Can we get it? Ha ha! We can! Duraludon, the alloy Pokemon. Its metal body is durable, but prone to retaining heat. It vents this heat from the slits in its tail. Yo, we can take a look at Chimchar's Pokedex entry too, just because I already had it from transferring it over. Uh, let me go ahead and take a look at that also. For posterity. Chimchar, the chimp Pokemon. The gas made in its belly burns from its rear end. The fire burns weakly when it feels sick. Ooh, Milkery? Yo, know just go for it. You turn one timer ball to Duraludon. I think a Milkery might be just as easy to get. Well, shut my mouth then. <laughs> Surely on turn two. There we go. Milkery, the cream Pokemon. When attacked, it tackles its foe and covers them in cream. With its foe either blinded or astonished by deliciousness, Milkery flees. And with that out of the way, let me see if I can get this friggin' Snubble. Nice. Snubble, the fairy Pokemon. Its growls make its opponents uneasy. This laid-back Pokemon tends to sleep half the day. Same. All right, moving right along. Let's see what else we can encounter. Lots of Chimchars around here. Haven't seen a Piplup yet. Even though that was the Pokemon. Ooh, never the fuck mind what I said. Here's a Alolan Sandshrew. A Sandshrew, the mouse Pokemon, Alolan form, an ancient tradition of Alolan festivals, still carried on to this day, is a competition to slide Sandshrew across ice as far as one can. Okay, so basically they do curling but with Sandshrew. Interesting. You know, I've only ever been to like one actual curling match in my life. Um, it was just for like a local team that one person from our school just happened to be on the team of, and ooh, never mind that anecdote. Uh, there's a Gramble I can catch. Can I turn one this? Man, I'm getting way too lucky with the turn one timer balls this episode. Gramble, the fairy Pokemon. It can make most any Pokemon run away by opening its big mouth to reveal its thick fangs. Ooh, I see a score bunny. This is definitely something I need considering I would already have Cinderace from the, uh, like one of the earliest seven star terror raid events. So I'm gonna need this and freaking Raboot at some point. Although it's not gonna make it easy. I knew I was getting too lucky with the turn one timer balls this episode. Oh well. Alright, surely. Surely on the turn two. Surely. The last time I said this, it also worked. I just had to jinx it, didn't I? I just had to jinx it. Alright, Sombra, get out of there. We're gonna bring in Cinnamon Roll for the nuzzle. Alright, Cinnamon Roll, handle it! Oh, wow. I forgot you were doing literally nothing but counter. So, uh, a bit awkward. 
Hopefully that nuzzle shouldn't result in too big of counter damage. Oh no, he just went for headbutt. Alright, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, there's no way you break out of this ball now. You're done. You're done, buddy. Mm-hmm. Score Bunny, the rabbit Pokemon. Fire energy gathers in the pads of its feet, raising their temperature. Once hot, Score Bunny's foot pads can deal heavy damage to opponents. Ah, the beautiful snowy vistas of the polar biome. Reminds me of home. Ooh, -hoo, hang on. I'm a tang. I will absolutely take this. Yeah, this I don't think I can turn one timer ball. We're just gonna have to do this the normal way. Get out cinnamon roll, go for the nuzzle, get the para, and then start chucking balls. Okay, cinnamon roll, handle it. That guy got the freebie for sneaking up on it. Oh, that's fine, yeah. Honestly, it might have been too little damage, but you know, as long as it works. Psychic, okay, that's fine. Don't care, I resist it. Totally fine. Ah, yeah, I might have to get into the, might have to get it below half after all. Now, I don't think a psychic would kill. It should be double resisted. Ooh, yeah, all right, that's really pretty much perfect. Where I need you to be. Like maybe a nuzzle would get you into the red, but yeah, let's just go for this. I feel like this is good range. I say as you break out. <laughs> Meteor Mash. All right, calm down, buddy. You know what? I think I will go for that nuzzle. Just because you did that now. I mean, it's not even doing all that much, but still, it's the principle of the thing. Even now, I can't get more than one shake. What are you, man? Good lord. You're in the red, you're paralyzed, and yeah, I can't get more than one shake on a timer ball after multiple turns. And now I'm getting no shakes. What is this thing? Just the most stubborn Matang in the history of the universe, dude. It's got the freaking catch rate of a legendary or something. Oh, I got two shakes that time. Really making progress here, people. <laughs> Good lord, I'm gonna be at this for 10 years. By the time I catch this Matang, it'll be next Christmas. Ow. Right, if this timer ball doesn't work, I'm gonna have to take an extra turn to heal. Yep. Here comes another. Nope. Okay, guess I get a freebie. That's fine. Speed doesn't have anything to do with Meteor Mash's uh, damage output, so that should mean nothing. As does the Timer Ball's catch rate, apparently. Because I'm getting no shakes now, again. I right, come on. You piece of garbage. Are you goddamn kidding me? Right, listen, I know this is a pseudo-legendary line, but good lord, what is the catch rate on this thing? Seriously, I feel like I'm fighting a fucking, you know, one of the legendary birds in Pokemon Yellow or something. That was an ordeal. Literally have you in, like, next to optimal conditions. The only thing that could be better is if I gotten you down to 1 HP, but I don't have anyone in my party with False Swipe right now. Okay, see, you're full parried. Come on, it's a sign. It's a sign, dude. You want to stay in this ball. Work with me here. Work with me! Metang! Okay, I gotta take a turn to heal. It'll build up an extra turn for the timer ball, it's fine. Seriously, what is going on here? Why have I found like an overworld mini boss? Good grief. Okay, full para. It's been like God knows how many turns now. It's probably it's probably closing in on like double digit turns. And you still Okay, you've you've actually been full para twice in a row now. I have lost track of the turns. Come on. 
Come on. Thank you. God, I think I actually felt myself age. Metang, the Iron Claw Pokemon. It adores magnetic minerals, so it pursues nose pass at speeds exceeding 16 miles per hour. Jesus. Metang is rapidly approaching your location. Yo, actually, as long as I mention Christmas uh, during that whole last ordeal, uh, and that's actually a good comment question of the day. Um, if you celebrate any holidays during, like, the general period of, like, November to December, uh, what holidays did you celebrate and how did you celebrate them? What'd you do? Did you hang out with your family? Did you do, like, a Friendsgiving situation with just some of your friends IRL or online? What'd you do? Let me know in the comments below. Just for full disclosure, I'm actually recording this uh, a couple days before Christmas. Uh, I don't know when I'll get it up, so, um, I don't know how relevant this will actually be, but the plan is, probably for me, just to hang out with some people on, uh, Discord. Just hang out with them, maybe, you know, play some video games together and stuff. They're pretty simple, but, you know, still pretty fulfilling. Maybe not as fulfilling as an experienced Candy M, but still pretty fulfilling. Hey, let's dip down here a little bit. Check out what Pokemon are hanging out near the bottom. We got Bear Tick and, uh, uh what's the Prevo called? Uh, Cub Chew. Yeah. Little cutie. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got a couple Pokemon I want. First of all, you, Solosis. Passed by a Duosion as well. Get that in a second. Hey, nice. Solosis, the Cell Pokemon. They drive away attackers by unleashing psychic power. They can use telepathy to talk with others. Oh, hey, Duosion. You're next. Nice. Duosion, the Mitosis Pokemon. When their brains, now divided in two, are thinking the same thoughts, these Pokemon exhibit their maximum power. Oh, apparently I got another reward for the Pokedex. So let's grab that really quick. If I can remember what the button is, there we go. Nice. Got a love ball. Ooh, the protector pads. You know, in case I don't just want to transfer over my Rhyperior from Pokemon Home, in case I want to evolve it myself. Do I really not have a seal? Oh, it was Dugong I got from that Terra Raid before. Hey, never mind. I'm just a goof. Let's see if we can go ahead and rectify that now. With me being invisible, apparently. Uh, what? Okay, there I am. I was worried for a second. Ooh, the crit capture. There we go. A hey, nice. Seal, the sea lion Pokemon. The colder it gets, the better it feels. Same. It joyfully swims around oceans so cold that they are filled with floating ice. Okay, now I could have sworn just in the background when I was looking at that seal that I thought maybe I saw... Well, it's not what I thought I was looking at, but I can also get this. Minchino, the chinchilla Pokemon. These Pokemon like things neat and tidy. They are always sweeping and dusting their habitat, using their tails as brooms. Now, but what I was saying before is that I could have sworn I had seen, um, uh, Reuniclus just kind of floating around here. I don't know, but I'll tell you what I do see. I do see a Quillfish. Thank you. God, don't ask me how many turns that took. Quillfish, the balloon Pokemon. Hisuian form. It absorbs toxins from the food it eats. The distinct purple spikes on its body are evidence of its potent poison. PP up, always take that. Nice. Now, what could be in this cave here? Oh, that's just Charge Stone Cavern again. Okay. Just for some reason, I want to shortcut back to the canyon biome, I guess. Interesting. Not something I really need, though. Let's just head back over here and wait a goddamn second. That's a whole ass Lapras. Get over here.
Lapras, the transport Pokemon. Able to understand human speech and very intelligent, it loves to swim in the sea with people on its back. Where is that Piplup? There's that Piplup. If I can get the drop on you. Nope. Nope, Sombra, you were supposed to go over there. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll just do it this way. It's fine. There we go. Piplup, the penguin Pokemon. It doesn't like to be taken care of. It's difficult to bond with since it won't listen to its trainer. Okay, let's see if we can't head up the mountain just a little bit. Mostly because I want to get out of this water and, you know, get my frame rate back to a decent fucking number. That'd be nice. Okay, so first of all, I should probably map out my trajectory, i.e. where I'm trying to go here. And it should probably be about here. Because I assume that would be where the rest area is. But also, um, apparently, a Porygon has spawned nearby. And I absolutely would love to be able to just get that in a Tower Ball right off the rip. So, if I can find that real quick, that would be amazing. Hey, come on, Maradon. Come on. Just, just get up the wall. You're, you're stuck for a second, buddy. You got it. <laughs> right, now, if I were a Porygon... Just sort of hanging out in a polar environment for some reason. Where would I be? The answer is probably not by the Minchino Horde or by the Piplup that's just kind of hanging out over here. Hey Piplup, how you doing? Oh, no Porygon yet, but I did see the Reuniclus. I was looking for you earlier. Now you are going to be a bit of an issue. But that's fine. I can kill a few turns getting Cinnamon Roll out here and nuzzling you. Skill swap? That's fine. Search server does literally nothing for you. Appreciate the magic guard, though. Alright, let's go for the nuzzle. This should not kill. Yeah, we're good. Now, take your bets in the comments. Will this take more or less turns than the Matang? Because <laughs> the Matang was a lot. I don't know the final count for the Matang turns, but I know it was a lot. Well, never mind. <laughs> Reuniclus, the multiplying Pokemon. When Reuniclus shake hands, a network forms between their brains, increasing their psychic power. Oh god, don't tell me Porygon is the disguised Pokemon. That, no, that wouldn't make any sense. Like, I know they can learn conversion. That's like their signature thing. But does that translate to them being other Pokemon in the overworld in this game? I mean, I'd be all about it. Oh, never mind, there it is. <laughs> I'm just overthinking it. Maridon, for fuck's sake. I'm trying to... Okay. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. We'll just, just raw encounter it. Whatever. I was trying to get the drop on you, but I guess I can't have that because that would be too easy. And here I was thinking that conversion would allow it to act like imposter or illusion for Ditto or Zorark, respectively, and allow it to convert itself into other Pokemon in the real world to disguise itself. Nope. It's, it's kind of just hanging out. You know, I would ask why it's just kind of hanging out here, but again, this whole friggin' biome, this whole terrarium really is just a, a giant middle finger to nature itself and how things are supposed to progress. And Sombra is kind of in trouble. I need to focus on the battle. All right. You turn out of there, Sombra. Let's get friggin' Cinnamon Roll in for the nuzzle. I'm too busy talking about the logistics of the Pokemon world and how artificial Pokemon are kind of just hanging out in the wild. Uh, focus on the battle, Daniel. That's the important thing. I go for this nuzzle. That's great. Got the paralysis. Ooh, double edge. Alright, good. Get yourself a little bit of recoil. It's gonna make it a little easier to catch you. That's fine by me. Yeah, nice. Porygon, the virtual Pokemon. Porygon is an artificial Pokemon created using advanced scientific means. It can move freely through cyberspace. Ooh, a Beldum. Nice.
Beldum, the Iron Ball Pokemon. All its cells are magnets. But how do they work, though? It communicates with others of its kind. Jesus Christ, I'm aging myself with that meme. It communicates with others of its kind by transmitting magnetic forces from its body. Oh, this wasn't even the friggin... Really? This wasn't even the rest area? What? It was the outdoor classroom? It was just flash cannon up here? Ah. Alright, here we go. Now we're at the rest stop. And you know what? I think we got time for a trainer battle before this episode ends. I've only been going for almost an hour, but I feel like there's a lot I could cut out, especially with that whole traveling back over to the north end of the friggin' biome thing. Uh, who do I want to start with? You know what? I think the good old lead of Yuto and Sombra is probably the way to go. Alright, kid, tell me about your dream. I've got to become one of the Elite Four of the BB League so my dream can come true at last. It's going to be a little difficult considering I'm going to beat them all and then become the champion. Ooh, Meowstic and Magnazone. You've got good taste in Pokemon, I'll give you that much. Maybe not so much realistic dreams, but you do have good taste in Pokemon. Alright, so I'm taunting the Meowstic immediately. And I'm going to bulk up with Yuto. I guarantee you that Meowstic's going to set up screens. Or do some other prankster nonsense. Yep, called it. It's a screener. And it also had prankster, so that freaking came down to speed. And also probably the level difference. Oh, god damn it. So I'm going to taunt the Magazone. I'm going to use Yuto's turn to get a Paralyzed Heal. Just so he's not sitting there doing nothing half the time. That would be really appreciated. There's not really an optimal camera angle for this, is there? Jesus. Okay. Um... Yes, he was gonna freaking Thunder Wave Sombra too. Alright, so now we U turn Miasic and then we Bitter Blade to Magazone and hope that. Well, the Magazone probably is sturdy. This probably doesn't kill, even if it didn't have like really good physical defense. But it'll at least break sturdy. That much I do need it to do. Yeah, bring in Marceline because Marceline will be immune to uh, Magazone's electric attacks. And then once this turns up, it can't get another um, status condition on it anyway because of the Toxic Orb. Oh, it didn't have Sturdy. Interesting. I mean, I'm not complaining, but still. Alright, what's Pokemon number three? Oh god, the Taunt wore off. So I guarantee you here comes a freaking Reflect now that I have two physical attackers out. Yep, especially because you need to protect Scizor. You absolutely need to protect the Scizor from Bitter Blade. Um, yeah, just me asking at Scizor now, okay. Um, so what we do is... We Toxic the Meowstic and then we just Bitter Blade Scizor. Really? No Reflect? Oh, and you dodged it. I think it's actually the first time in this entire playthrough that anyone has dodged Toxic. I've just been getting incredibly lucky with my Toxic accuracy this whole time. It's the first time anyone's dodged it. Oh, Focus Ash on the Scizor. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Honestly, that's standard. Just for posterity, what is your dream, though? Presumably not for me to get a Lepaberry, or for me to get mauled by a bear tick. Jesus, get away from me. I'm, try I'm trying to talk to this NPC. Would you fuck off? Good lord. My dream is to become a member of the Elite Four and make a castle out of the Plaza Blocks. Now, I'm pretty sure Amaris already has you covered. Like, 
pretty sure her plaza is a castle when you look at it from the outside. Okay, and I think that's where we're going to end this episode before my recording software decides to chumble again for a billion times. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of the Indigo Disc DLC Let's Play. I really appreciate it. Give it a like if you liked it. Answer the comment question down below. Subscribe for more in the future. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Enjoy your holidays if you're celebrating them. And if not, just have a nice December. Stay safe out there. And drink some water, you filthy animals.